This is a story called The Little Monsters, Chapter 63. The kids sneak into pubs and nightclubs. It's a Friday night and the kids are all at Creeper's house having a sleepover. And Creeper's two older sisters, Claire aged 18 and Michelle aged 19, are supposed to be looking after them. However, as soon as their parents go out, they go out too. They leave the kids home alone and Creeper has an idea. I know what, why, I know why don't we go out to, to pubs and clubs. I don't see why my sister should have all the fun. I agree with you, but we're too young. We'll never get through the doors and we definitely won't get served at the bar, said Bumper. No, but we can sneak in when the clubs and pubs are packed. And no one will see us, said Creeper. Everyone laughed at this and made their way to their fir- to the first pub. When they got there, the pub was absolutely jam-packed and they went round drinking everyone's drinks when they weren't looking. As they were leaving, they put fat gas in loads of people's drinks and then they threw a stink bomb in the pub. Then they went on to the next pub, which was more packed than the first one. The kids stayed there for about an hour and a half, drinking everyone's drinks. As they were leaving again, they went round putting fat gas in people's drinks and then they threw stink bombs in the pub. When they got to the next pub again, they went round drinking everyone's drinks. Then they decided to go around pulling people's hair, flicking their ears, pinching their bums and putting itching powder down their backs. They stayed there doing this for two hours and then they left to go to the next pub. As they were leaving, they threw stink bombs in the pub. When they got to the next pub, they did the same thing there. Then they decided to go nightclubbing. The first nightclub they got to, the the bouncers were busy trying to stop a fight, so the kids weren't able to sneak in without being seen. By this time they were already quite drunk, but they didn't care. They went round stealing other people's drinks and drinking them. They stayed at that club for two and a half hours and then they went well, then and then and then they decided to go to another club. Just before they left they went round putting fat gas in everyone's drinks and as they were leaving they threw several stink bombs in the guard in the nightclub. As soon as they went off everyone started gasping for air. When they got to the next nightclub, there was a fire door open, so they sneaked into the club through there. Whilst in the club again, they went round drinking everyone else's drinks and putting fat gas in other drinks. However, after they'd been there for about 20 minutes, they spotted Creeper's sisters, Claire and Michelle, and quickly left. They made their way back to Creeper's house and climbed in through her bedroom window. The next day was Saturday and Bumpy told her mum that they were all going to Kicker's house for a sleepover and everyone else told their mums that they were going to Bumpy's for a sleepover. They all got their stuff together and then they made their way to their secret hideout. They stayed there all day until about 7pm and then they went into town on a pub crawl. The first pub they went to was packed and they sneaked in and went round drinking everyone's drinks. This pub had two rooms so they sneaked into the other door. Sorry, they sneaked into the other room and threw stink bombs in there. Then they went back into the other room and continued to drink every drink they could get their hands on. Then they went round putting whoopee cushions filled with fat gas on people's seats. When anyone sat on them, they deflated, making a loud farting noise and the fat gas exploded, causing a horrible smell. Then they put pink cushions on people's seats, causing them to jump up, howling in pain. When they sat on them, much, when, when they, then they put pink cushions on people's seats, causing them to jump up, howling in pain when they sat on them, 
rush to the kids' amusement. The kids got their pink cushions and muppy cushions back and then they decided to leave throwing stink bombs in the pub as they did so. When they got to the next pub they spotted Kika's parents and they quickly ran to the next pub. When they got there again they went round drinking everyone, everyone's drinks. Then a huge fight broke out causing mayhem and the police were called. As soon as the kids saw the police, they quickly left and went to the next pub. When they got there, when they got there, they sneaked in and went round drinking everyone's drinks. Just like the night before, by this time they were quite drunk, but they didn't care. They just carried on drinking and enjoying themselves. This time they went round putting fat sweets on all the tables and in people's pockets and bags. They also went round putting fat gas in as many drinks as they could. Then they went round pinching people's bums, pulling their hair and flicking their ears, discreetly of course. Just as they were leaving they threw some stink bombs and one of them hit someone and they all ran off laughing. When they got to the next pub again, they managed to sneak in without being seen. This time, not only did the kids go around drinking other people's drinks, but they sneaked behind the bar and took several bottles of beer and put them in their backpacks. Then they decided to go to a nightclub. Again, they managed to sneak in without being seen. Once again they went behind the bar and took loads of bottles of beer and put them in their backpacks. They stayed there for about an hour and then they decided to go to another one. Again as they were leaving they threw stink bombs amongst the crowd. When they got to the next club they managed to sneak in again without being seen. Every time they saw anyone going to the toilet they followed them and put stink bombs under the door and sneaked back out again. Once again they went round drinking everyone's drinks. Then they went behind the bar and there was four full crates of bottled beer and they put every single bottle in their backpacks. Then they decided to leave and threw stink bombs amongst the crowd as they did so. Instead of going anywhere else, they went for the bus and then they went back to their secret hideout. The next day was Sunday and, the, and there was no school the next day because it was bank holiday. They told their parents that Kika was having a sleepover and she told their parents that, that Bumpy was having a sleepover and then they went to their secret hideout. However, on their way there they spotted some more crates of bottled beer and took every single bottle without being seen and took them back to their secret hideout. When they got there they spent the night getting drunk and playing games and they had loads of fun doing so. The next day, as you can imagine, they all woke up with a hangover. End of chapter 63. Thanks for watching guys. Mmm. -hmm.